What is up, y'all? I'm excited today, man. It's like freaking Christmas. As y'all can see from the title of the thumbnail, we are starting the day off over here at Bass Pro Shops. It took us like a two-hour drive to get over here. I have only been to Bass Pro Shops twice in my entire life. Y'all have seen me go to Cabela's a lot. I spent all my money there. Like, I'm not joking. I am truly blessed to live in the presence of that store being not far away. Bass Pro Shops, though, when I get to go to one of these, man, it's special. I know a lot of you guys are probably like, isn't it like the same thing? Technically, Bass Pro acquired Cabela's a couple years ago, but trust me, they're different. Today, we're gonna find out just how different they are. Again, if you read the title, man, we are going to be doing yet again another budget fishing challenge i've been having a ton of fun filming these videos we are going to be going deep into the trenches of bass pro shops we have a budget of 50 dollars today and with that 50 dollars, we have to buy a rod reel line lures everything that's hopefully going to help us catch some fish now again i live in delaware it's january it feels like playing a hoth outside we're going to have to put some work in but hopefully whatever we get in here for 50 dollars is going to help us catch some fish this is actually an episode of season two v2 whatever you want to call it of this budget series if you guys want to see the first version i'll leave it down in the description it is from two 2017. It's going to be interesting to go back to that one and see the differences in the video and the store and the stock. If y'all can't tell, I'm excited for this. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure to go down there and hit that thumbs up button. And also, if you enjoy my videos, make sure to go down there and hit that subscribe button so YouTube actually lets you know when I put out new videos. All right, enough talking, man. Let's get in here. 2021 Bass Pro Shops. Let's see what we're working with. Ooh, all right, y'all. Officially inside. One thing I do have to say, I feel like it's a little bit darker in here than in Cabela's. Is that like a normal thing? Let me know if you guys have ever been to both in the comments below. So, dude. I don't know. What do y'all think? Should FSH ever make an appearance on YouTube? Some of this stuff looks so warm. Okay, I don't think it looks that warm. Yo, it's the dude from Lion King. All right, before we get over to the fishing stuff, where's the tank? There's got to be a tank in here, right? Oh, my gosh. Oh, dude, this looks just like camper. Now, this section is kind of interesting. I don't remember. First of all, I don't remember cheese balls or cheese, which you, whatever, cheese curls. Cabela's is big. I feel like we explored a lot of it, but I don't remember like a gift shop section. They got to have a fish tank here somewhere, right? Cabela's, I'm pretty sure, has this stuff, but I've never seen their wings flapping. Look at this dude's chombers. Oh, I see it, I see it, I see it. I knew there had to be a fish tank. I don't know if I saw this the first time I came here. Oh my gosh. Stripers in here, the largies. That's so cool. There's like some crappy suspended in the structure over there. That dude right there is like the biggest catfish I've ever seen in my freaking life. The really cool thing about these tanks is like where the Bass Pro is located, all these are kind of like native fish to that area. So like most of this stuff you can catch around here. Dude, look at that guy right there. Oh, there's some carp down there. We've been catching some of them recently. All right, y'all, let's get into this. Uh, we're at the net section right now. But this is like the start of the fishing section. Wait, no, yeah, I actually need, hold on. I was talking about this in the video where I went to Cabela's. I need some of these, but this is six seventy nine. That's not too bad of a price. Why can't they just be like $1 though? It's literally just plastic. Right next to that stuff, second aisle in. This is an aisle that I really wanted to check out here. A couple of videos ago, we went to Cabela's and we looked at their catfish and carp section. I've been super into catching those fish recently. It's been a lot of fun. I wanted to see how Bass Pro Shops kind of compared to Cabela's. Look, look at this, man. Giant. Catfish bobber. This is a $5 bobber. Oh, I guess it glows in the dark. A little stinker catfish kit. Let me know any of the stuff that I point out if y'all have ever tried any of this stuff. I'm like new to all these rigs and techniques for catfish and carp, so I find this stuff super interesting. What is this? Minnow rigs for slow vertical trolling. $4.99 tackle beacon. Oh, no, yeah, no, I think this is for jugging. So I guess you put a line on this and the catfish kind of takes it around and you kind of pull the jug up i've never done that before i've seen people do it let me know if you guys want to see me do that that'd be interesting so we got some more of this like magic bait stuff same kind of emerald shiners emerald shiners cut shad dough base dough base i always find it interesting to look at the flavors of some of these so we got big blue anise and blood i guess that's is that for blue catfish it looks like i don't, I don't know crawfish and chicken blood Beef blood, all whiskers, liver and cheese, liver and cheese, chicken blood, shrimp. They didn't have this at Cabela's. Magic premium catfish bait. This looks like a cork or like maybe like little sausages or something. We have all the dip baits. We tried, I don't know if they have the ones we tried here or not. I think maybe, was this one of them? Maybe not. Kind of similar-ish to Cabela's, but they feel like they have a lot more stuff. I mean, I gotta admit, this is a way bigger fishing section than Cabela's. This is kind of cool. They have like a chum pot, chum bag. What is this? Chum cage, chum, chum, chum slick, chum oil. 
Manhattan oil. Oh my gosh. Last thing we need is Manhattan oil spilled all over the place. Now a lot of you guys too were telling me when I'm carp and catfishing to put some fish bells. If I had like a bunch of rods, I'd probably do that. But since I'm only usually using two rods, I feel like those are just like really annoying. I don't know. Maybe we'll try them out in future videos. But one more thing I did see where is it? Let me know in the comments below. Does this actually work? This is supposed to like get all the odor off your hands. So maybe if you're using some of that catfish bait or you pick up a slimy, stinky catfish that this will like make your hands not stink like that. Let me know if you guys ever try this, man. I feel like definitely when I was using those dip baits, like I didn't even touch, I was using a leaf to touch the dip bait and a stick and my hands were still smelling for like days. All right, so we're literally two aisles down. Look at this. It goes on and on and even like down. See that dude, it goes on that way. How does one come in here and spend 50 bucks? They literally have everything you could ever want. You want a crab trap? You want a crab trap shaped like the crusty crab? Clam rigs, big crab pots, crab trap, Bait. I wonder what this actually is made of. Fish, fish oil, shrimp, squid. Another highly attractive item. Not for human consumption. That's good to know. 10 bucks for that. Oh, dude, once again, we meet the blue crab fuel. Holy crap. One day, man. One day, we're going to get offshore. Get something. Can you imagine catching cook something like that? All right, so I think this back section, as far as these rods and reels, and even this whole section, this is all, oh my gosh. Yeah, I think this is all like saltwatery kind of section. Maybe in Florida we'll go to Bass Pro and do some saltwater stuff, but I think we're gonna kinda, oh my gosh, so much saltwater stuff. Yeah, we're gonna go kinda towards the freshwater stuff. Dude, look how big this bait bucket is. For like size comparison, that's like the normal one, which is pretty decently big. All right, this is looking more our speed. Ugly stick combos, 49.99. Okay, hold on. I actually really want one of these. As you guys know, I've been using loose stuff. This thing is freaking sick right here. It's $79.99 though. This is a mock smash. Oh, that thing is pretty. These are super sick too, but this I think I just saw is a 140. Okay, hold on. This actually just caught my eye. Hello, sir. Bass Pro Shops Micro Elite. It's like an ultralight. Where does this say? Oh, it is an ultralight moderate action. This thing would be so fun. Hold on, hold on. Please, 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 please. Oh, $74.99. It would be cool to get like Bass Pro brand at Bass Pro. I doubt that this is in our budget. This is a Bass Pro bait casting rod. This thing looks freaking sweet. Pro qualifier. How much? This is gonna be so expensive, isn't it? 99 99 that's not too bad. I wish we could grab this dude though. We could bump the budget up, but then we'd be bumping the budget up. How does one even go through? Look at this. You just weave, bop and weave. So much freaking, I mean, rods, 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 all the way down there, all the way throughout here. I'm gonna try to find the ones that just kind of stick out the most. Here's a look at some reels. I don't think we're gonna be able to afford just like a reel by itself and then get another rod. Like, especially a bait caster that's definitely out of the freaking budget. We'll probably get one of these. A little ice rod action. All right, where's like the expensive? Let's see if we can find the most expensive reel in Bass Pro Shops. $5.99. 649 that one's not there oh 699 do i hear 700 all right looks like that was the winner man freaking almost 700 dollars for single reel coming over here this is actually so i think in what challenge not that long ago we got one of these pro fish pro fish cnc these spin casts are exactly 49.99 and i think the spinning rods 59.99 i think we got it for like it wasn't ours like 20 bucks 30 bucks sheesh sheesh there's a lot of cool stuff just not in the budget take a look at their bait fridge Bella's last time I went there the last couple days, it's completely dry. Look at this. Stock with worms, stock with oh dude, they got the garlic worms here. And then the big red worms, big red worms. I feel like this should be loaded with choco tacos. Okay, so this is yeah, peeler crab. This is all salt water. Oh my gosh. Some big old bait fish. This is another pretty cool part about Bass Pro Shops too. In there is like a whole entire fly fishing like section area sanctuary. Let me know if y'all would want to see me go in there and make a video out of all that. Just look, it's giant giant fly fishing section. This looks interesting. The Mad Dad. Super sparkly. Alright, so it did a loop around. I think like for science purposes. And I guess, I mean, I technically make the rules for these challenges, but I think that we're going to bump the budget up to $100. Pretty much most of the combos that were in the $50 price range, we've either like done that combo or like a very similar one. This just like actually lets us get some cooler stuff. You could totally do this challenge with 50 bucks. That's what we did last time. $50 is more than enough to come in here, get a rod, reel, lines, lures, and you know, catch some fish. But I, just, I don't know, that'll be a little crazy today. I'm not gonna lie though. I don't know how we're gonna pick baits. Like they got baits on baits of it. Look at this. So this is just the Speed Shad from Bass Pro Shops. Like this is their version of a swim bait. One, two, three, four going down. And this just keeps, it just keeps going, man. Every freaking size, every color. You're in like Willy Wonka's Paddle Tail Factory. <laughs> Finally, we have made it to the end of the fishing section. So these are all like a lot of smaller baits. On the other side of this is actually the trout section. This right here would be fire for trout. I'm low-key geeking out here, man. They got so 
many different things for trout. Look at all these like power bait colors, flavors. You got the glittery stuff. This dude's pretty interesting right here. Look like a little crawfish crankbait. This aisle is freaking crazy, too. This is a bunch of spinners. You like rooster tails? They got rooster tails. Panther Martin, Blue Fox, Bass Pro, <laughs> Micro Spin. You like maps? They got maps. They got a lot of maps. Sonic rooster tails, you betcha. I might have to come back to this aisle. First, let's, let's go figure out a rod and reel because these kind of baits, holy crap. Look at that dude right there. <laughs> crazy bug crankbait. I don't think that's in the right section. But these kind of baits are really actually pretty effective this time of year. So I think we're gonna come back to this time. We're definitely not gonna go through every bait too because as you can see, it goes all the way that way, all the way that way, all the way that way. All the way. It's just, just, just too much bait. So for this budget of $100, I do, this thing caught my eye, man. I, I don't know. A little ultralight winter fishing. I've never used a Bass Pro uh, spinning reel, I don't think. How much is this again? This is $74.99, so it's like 75 bucks. The other thing that we were kind of looking at this dude right here. This is 79.99. Mock smash spinning combo. Ah, I don't know, dude. I gotta admit though, I think since we're at Bass Pro Shops, I think it'd be cool to get a Bass Pro Shops rod and reel. I, th I think we might go with this dude right here. That's how you know you're gonna have some fun right there. Alright, so that's $75. One of you guys actually told me last time I was at Bass Pro Shops that they'll actually like spool your reel for free. We're gonna find that out here, but hopefully we don't have to spend money online that way. So we have, I, I think where I'm at, they have tax. So I don't know the math stuff all right i definitely knew we want to get something over here i have never seen this before so this is a panther martin stinky garlic this is weird dude so this is the original inline sonic spinner with water activated garlic scent and it masks human scent so this is like, i don't know is activated with water i've never seen i, I might get this too just it what was this 449 they also have a stinky anus and an anus anus look at this dude right here it's like a little yellow perch Behind the uh, little, little spinner blade. Let's go with that, dude. This is 649, but that is like, it's just cool looking. And I have bodies of water in me where the perch are kind of activist during the winter right now. Maybe a bass or some pickerel or something will go after that. I think we have around like 10 ish dollars to spend. I don't know. Freaking tax, dude. All right, let's actually grab one of these. This is a 299. Crappy Max, Crappy Spin. This is Bass Pro Shops brand. So we have three moving baits. <laughs> Hopefully, I mean, the weather's supposed to be a little bit nicer, so hopefully these fish are moving. All right, we need like one more bait. I was thinking of jerk bait, but. With this rod, I don't, I don't know. You know what, actually, let's go over here to that trout aisle. Some little cricket dudes. Look at these dudes right there. Um, let's try these dudes out. These are dollar ninety nine. Those look freaking weird. Little alien dudes. Bro, I didn't know they still made these with like the butt handles. Looks like a fishing rod. Oh, I guess that's for like a boat, right? All right, let's go see real quick. Are the rumors true? Can you still uh, get free line on a bass? Pro real rod thing. Shout out to the employees here. Y'all are cool as heck. And everybody else who like said what's up. Really appreciate all the support. If you buy a Bass Pro combo or a Bass Pro reel, they will spool you up with free Bass Pro monofilament. We're gonna be testing that out here today. So yeah, hopefully we're in the budget. Let's go see, I guess. I mean, I, I don't even know what the budget is anymore. Okay, there is some good news and some bad news. We are over here at the first spot today. I'll talk a little bit about the plan here in a second. Good news, it's pretty warmish out here today. It's like 45 degrees. Not so good news. It's like 20 mile per hour winds. It's got the real feel down to like low 30s. We'll probably be hopping spots, but let's start at this one. All right, first, I'm testing out this stinky garlic. Yeah, I don't smell any garlic right off the... It's so weird, man. So that activates, I guess, when you put it in the water i wonder like i don't know if the stuff we're gonna be going for today if that's really gonna help or not so i've only fished this place once wow that water is super clear that could be a good thing let's do a little test around here by the way the six pound test that they give you uh at bass pro is green it's like some green mono oh dude that is beautiful let's see if it smells hmm. how long does it need to be in the water to activate the Maybe a little bit, I get. By the way, the spot is like right on a road right here. Basically, let me, let me tell you guys what we're doing here. So, although it is winter and it's gonna make things a little bit more difficult. Oh my gosh, I didn't see that duck there for a sec. Oh geez, didn't think that dude was real. Since it is a little bit warmer here today though, these fish might be just a little bit more active. I mean, it's cold to me, but I don't think these fish, you know, feel that real feel temp. <sighs> All right, oh gosh. So we're gonna start right around here. Oh no, what is that? Oh my gosh, somebody splattered something. Is that like a groundhog? Oh, dude, that wind is a little chilly, man. I don't know if you guys can see that coming out of this on the water. Oh, first cast. Oh, that feels nice, actually. Dude, if we catch a fish on this, it's gonna be so sick. When we catch a fish on this, no first cast magic. Basically, we're just gonna be going for anything that bites. That includes a variety, like a big variety. That is a leaf. Oh, that's a stick. And that is myself. How well we are all tangled up. The wind kind of took that one. Basically, man, hand fish. 
which include uh, white perch, yellow perch, crappie, maybe bluegill, any type of sunfish. All that stuff potentially could be hitting this spinner right now. I mean, it is a little bit chilly, but maybe they're out to play a little bit here today. It is super windy coming this way though, so that uh, either could be a good or a bad thing. I'm not exactly sure yet. Oh my gosh, that wind is so freaking cold. Oh, I forgot actually. I don't know if y'all saw earlier, I'm wearing a vest. I actually forgot I had this thing. It's a heated vest. So like I have a portable charger on it and it's just kind of heating me. I just turned it on. This thing is so nice. Shout out to my parents. They got it for me last year for like Christmas. Again, realistically though, I mean, possibly bass could be up in this shallower water looking for something to feed on. Or also the main thing that I think, you know, really could happen right now. So we can get some pickerel bites. Talk about cold water species. This is the perfect cold water species for these types of lures and just to be targeted. They're so much fun. A lot of people don't appreciate, I feel like pickerel. Cause you know, sharp teeth, they steal your lures, they're super slimy, straight up snot rockets. But I think they're one of the coolest fish, especially around here. And it's really like a good time of the year to be targeting them, honestly. I think from like October to May is like the hot time, I think, something like that. I mean, you can catch them year round, but in the warmer months, they're more like hidden in the weeds. Oh gosh. Big old bird's nest. Eh, not good. But yeah, these fish like to hide in ambush. So in the warmer weather months, you know, they're gonna be more in deeper holes or in these grass lines a little bit deeper. During this time of the year though, I mean, around these weed edges, grass lines, and uh, see what I wanted to do today, I didn't realize it was gonna be so windy, but I wanted to get my little kayak out here and fish some of the creek channels and more of these like wooded areas between the wind and just this water temperature. That is way too, Nah. Probably the best method to actually be catching fish, especially pickerel or panfish or I guess bass, really whatever. Jeez, these cars are pretty loud as they're passing by. But if we had like a little jig head probably or a little bobber and we put, you know, minnow or live bait on there, that probably would be the best idea. Ow. I'm pretty sure this can be done though with the lures. One just followed me in. That was a pickerel, he just followed me in. I think that was a pickerel. I got him. He was right there, he was waiting for it. Oh my gosh, six pound test. Six pound test. Dude, I dropped it right back on him. That was so sick, freaking clear water. Oh my gosh, okay, this is gonna be a battle. I don't know if he smelled the garlic, <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh gosh, that's actually a big, dude, that's a big pickerel. Oh no, he's taking me under this crap. Oh, that is bad for this monofilament. Oh my gosh, I see him. Okay, he's taking me into the weeds. No. Oh no! Oh! I just, I just, I, 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 I don't know. What am I supposed to do? Freaking five foot ultra <laughs> six pound bass pro shots lot of it. I think maybe I could tighten that drag up a little bit. I just didn't want to lose a lure and him at the same time. He just really like you guys see all this grass stuff right there. He brought me right into that. See that was a big pickerel man. That like might have been one of the biggest pickerel I ever caught. Oh that sucks dude that was so sick the way he like oh <gasps> well that's a good thing though. We know that they're here. So that's the thing. Usually like when it's super windy like this, it's either hit or miss with this kind of fishing. Just like the fact that we actually just hooked into a fish. Well, let me tell you, dude, these conditions are not the best. Oh gosh, freaking windy backlash. I appreciate the fight though. That was a good, got my blood going, man. Come on, back for it though, you won't. I don't know, I mean, I get a slight garlic scent, kinda. I don't know. <laughs> I, I really don't. Have you guys ever tried these before? Or the anise, anise flavoring one? Let me know. Has it helped you catch more fish, do you think? Maybe he could've came back just because of that scent. I don't know. The pickerel like garlic? Can they even smell? Oh boy. I'm on this like floating island. Oh no. Oh, I forgot what a little bit. Let's go like right here. I don't even know where I casted that one. I might've like led him back to shore with that thing. At first I was kind of just casting around this weed edge, but they could, 
honestly like really be anywhere this is pretty shallow area really all i'm doing just casting it out doing a little flick just to get this uh thing spinning a little bit and you don't need to reel it in fast man this is a one fourth ounce i believe i could whip this little dude out pretty far especially with the bend in this rod A fish. It's not a fish. Is that a fish? Dude, we got a fish. Is that another pickerel? Alright, I don't want to put the drag on. Hold on. Loosen a little bit. Not that much. <laughs> this thing is dragging us. Wait, what is that? Oh, it's another pickerel. Come here. Come here, ultralight pickerel. You are not getting away, buddy. Let's go, dude. Okay, let's freaking go. Ultralight pickerel. Oh my gosh, these things are so cool looking. Holy crap. All right, chill out, buddy. That's not a bad size either. <laughs> All right, where are our pliers? Where are our pliers? Right in the top of the mouth, garlic. I mean, these things. Just look at that beautiful fish right there. I don't know if you can see, their teeth are insane, but we got them good. I thought I felt a thump out there, so I read through it. Get out of that mouth, come on. Okay. Super slimy, first fish of the day. First fish on the Bass Pro Shops of the Bass Pro Shops Fishing Challenge. Beautiful chain pickerel. Let's let him back in there. Oh gosh, oh gosh, okay. He's good. Wow, second bite of the day. Dude, my hands are toast right now. Like they actually hurt. Oh gosh. We're gonna throw this dude around a little bit more. I just wanna see if there's any more around. I think I wanna switch the bait up. Just for that though, if you guys could go down there, smack the crap out of that thumbs up button. It's been a while since we've caught a pickerel and like actually targeted them. Well, we're targeting a bunch of stuff, but I mean, at this point we're targeting pickerel, right? Wow, this rod too, dude, that was so much freaking fun. A little bit smaller than the first one. That first one was taking us, especially in these temperatures. I thought maybe this would be a good spot because usually in the summer, like I only came here one time, but this was loaded with pads, like a bunch of lily pads. I mean, all those lily pads are deceased at the moment, but there'd be some leftover remnants of structure. <sighs> oh man, that, that was so sick. Where is the Bertha? Pickerel hiding that. All right, see, this is the color blind problem. I was looking for this thing for a while. I thought I had it in my pocket, but we unhooked that pickerel. This like blends in with that in my eye. Yeah, I don't know. That's how we lost those little spiral rod holder things too. Shout out to my eyes. All right, Vibrax, Blue Fox, Chaser, eight grams, Baitfish Trailer. This is one of the bodies of water around here that I know for a fact has yellow perch in it. This is actually looking freaking sick, dude. Yellow perch looking dude back there. We got a little spinner blade up here. Let's see how it actually works in the water huh let's cast that out a little bit more that's interesting is that what it's supposed to be the perch like the trailer perch is kind of like oh no there we go i don't know it was kind of like spinning too i don't see if anything wants it <laughs> I don't know, dude. This thing was expensive too, wasn't it? Maybe I, I'm probably just not using it right. Let's see if we get any bites. All right, y'all. That's pretty much going to be here for this video today. I don't think I showed y'all, but it was 96.41. We've had a lot going on. We're trying to get this whole camper thing going. Hopefully within like the next week. Like it's it's crazy. The week from now, between like getting all that stuff ready and filming these videos, I'm just happy that like we are able to catch fish, especially some cool pickerel like that. I don't know if you guys have been noticing, but I've been having so much fun with these OG budget fishing challenges. Again, let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this. Definitely hit that thumbs up button and let me know in the comments below what other kind of fishing challenges you guys want to see. We're going to do some other stuff, but I've just been having a lot of fun with this right now. As always, man, thank you guys so much for all the support. Let's keep this rolling. Thank you guys for watching. See you next video.